are doing fancy smoke bologna. Now, for anybody who's hung around for a little while and asked questions about bologna, normally I'm the one who's saying, please don't gussy up your bologna. Uh, it's just processed formed meat. Uh, there's no reason to gussy it up. What do we got? Hey, what's up going on? Memphis, I like Memphis. Awesome. So, uh, but I'm, today I'm giving in, I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna gussy up the bologna because it does look cool. Uh, it'll look good on camera, that's for sure. Uh, it'll look good when you serve it to your people. If I'm cooking this thing at home, I'm taking that shove of bologna and I'm not doing anything to it. Uh, I'm literally just uh, undoing the package, throwing it on the cooker. I got a 132 fired up today. It's holding about 265. It can be done. Stainless grills, I know a lot of people think they run hotter. You just gotta manage the airflow a little bit different on them. We're about 265 on that. I'm smoking over some peach wood and I got some bologna. Again, I say don't gussy up bologna, but one of the reasons I can say don't gussy up bologna normally is because I like to cook a little bit better bologna. So I normally try to go buy Frick's brand or something that's no chicken. It's just kind of a beef pork mix. If you like Bar S, that's great, that's fine. Dirt cheap for a big old chub. Uh, but we're gonna use Frick's today, but I am gonna gussy it up a little bit. So do as I say, not as I do. But uh, these Frick's chubs are a little smaller than the normal chub of bologna that you're gonna end up getting. They're about half the size. Uh, they're probably about the same price too, so that kind of tells you where you're at. But uh, what we're going to do, there's a couple different options on how to do this. Bologna, the entire, and remember that it's formed meat, but it's already kind of, uh, it's already pre-cooked. So uh, I'm not worried about getting this thing up to like a safe temperature. I'm more worried about getting some smoke and some flavor into it. So normally what I like to do on these is I'll cut them in half so I increase the surface area that I can get smoke into, increase the service area. We're gonna get some rub and some oil and everything into today and get it all charred up. Uh, so, but before I do that, I'm gonna use a fun little tool. I don't think we sell these, but these are kind of fun to have. I found this in our outdoor kitchen. Uh, it's a slot dog. It's basically a cross hatched blade that you can run all over this thing and kind of make them look real cool. So that's what we're gonna do. And one of the reasons you do that, or you draw cross hatches in with a blade, which we'll do on one so you can kind of see. One of the reasons you do that uh, is because it does increase the surface area. It allows some pockets. You can get some extra seasoning, some extra smoke in. It looks really cool when you end up getting it all said and done. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this. And the way we do this, safety first, is you just take it and you push down, and kind of go back and forth. And then I'll show you on camera what that did. It created those cross hatches. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do that across the whole thing. Now I am gonna cut this thing in half because it doesn't roll around on the grill when it's cut in half. But I find it easier to go ahead and do your cross hatches, at least when you're doing something like a slot dog, I find it easier to do them when it's round because you don't have the edges you gotta contest with on a cup chub. You got a couple more to do here. The heat of this is gonna make that meat kind of expand and look really cool when it's all said and done. We're gonna do another one and then I'm gonna do a blade on the last one so you can kind of see the difference between the two. These are actually made for hot dogs, but they work kind of cool on bologna. They definitely look neat. Make a good picture. I think you can buy them on Amazon. I'm sure they have a website too. But again, for anybody who just joined, I'm gonna show you what that ends up looking like. It looks like that. Got kind of a good billy tube, nice. Kind of a good little pattern on it. And then the last one, I'm just gonna show you kind of my other option of what I do. So on the last one, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and cut it straight in half, which we're gonna do that on all these. Because I, again, I like to kind of put it on the grill like that so it's flat. But then I'm gonna come across, so you can see here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and draw hatches on it with my knife. So that being said, you don't have to have a slot dog to do this. Now the slot dog kind of makes more even fancy ones, definitely smaller, but you don't have to have a slot dog to do it. Kind of just do it with a knife. And again, one of the reasons we do that is because one, it looks cooler too. It increases that surface area for things to stick, for smoke to get down in there. There's not a lot that these things require as far as attention. I'm gonna literally throw it on the grill. Now, obviously, because of time constraints, I'm not gonna be able to smoke this whole thing for you. So when it's all done, I'm gonna film a video of it and I'll post it in the comments on here so you guys can see it when it's all said and done. Cutting these in half again. 
Come on. And then on the ones that I did a slot dog, I'm just going to go ahead and cross hatch on the cut side here too. So you got something that does a little bit more on the middle. Now what we're going to be doing with these today, I told you it's fancy. It's fancier than I normally like to do it, but uh, it'll be really tasty. What we're going to do with these is we're going to spray them down with some duck fat. They're kind of greasy on their own just because of the fact that it is bologna, so you don't have to do this step. I find that it sticks the seasoning just a little bit better, but we're not doing much. We're just kind of doing a little hit of that. You take your favorite barbecue rub. The one I'm using today is going to be Mr. Will Collier. I don't know if you're watching Will, but DB180 Steak and Beef Rub is one of our favorites around here right now. It's got some good color, got some good smoke, got a little bit of kick to it. So I'm going to go ahead and season this bologna up on all sides with that DB180. thing that I like about that too is if you end up pulling these off a little earlier, you still get the smoke from the rub if nothing else. Now normally these are going to take about 45 minutes, maybe to an hour and 15 depending on your temperature. We're cooking a little lower today, so it'll probably take more on the hour side. But season these up as fancy as you want to get them. Press that seasoning down in so it kind of makes it down into those slots that you created with your knife or with that slot dog. We'll hit the other side. This is, I mean, very, very easy to do, like I mentioned. I like to keep a chub of bologna on hand. If I got people coming over when I'm doing another meal, I'll just throw one of these on the cooker uh, so it gives us a little bit of an appetizer. Some people slice them and still fry them up. I like to just cube them up when it's all done, serve them with some sauce on the side. Got that wind kicking up here. So again, I'm normally the don't gussy up your bologna person, but I think these are going to look real cool and they'll be really tasty. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and put these on the 132. I'm going to see if you guys got any questions. We've got it hovering around 260 right now. I do have a, a grill extender on it. I like cooking with a grill extender, especially when I'm doing stuff like this, because it does get me a little bit more distance from the fire. So you got a little bit more forgiveness going on. I'm in the smoke position on the bottom. Got a heat shield on in case anyone's asking. And we're literally just trying to do a traditional smoke on these. Nothing fancy, not searing them off at the end. Just going to let them go ahead and gather that awesome smoke. Again, we're using peach wood today. It's going to be our wood of choice. Normally I'm a pecan guy, but I can't, when we got peach in stock, I can't kick peach. So it's just really good. Coming up here, let's see what we got for questions, if anyone has questions. Hi Kyle, hi Bill. What's up Jonathan? What's up Donna? A lot of highs. Love y'all. Sam, be careful traveling, bud. Awesome, no questions. It doesn't need a lot of questions. It's a very simple thing to do. Uh, we're just smoking up some bologna. Uh, we're gonna have a recipe for this up on the site. Again, there's not a lot to it. Cut it, slice it, make it look pretty, season it up, throw it on there, give it about an hour. If you're doing one of the big chubs, uh, I always like to cut them in half because you're gonna cut your cook time down and you're gonna increase that surface area. But those are gonna take a little bit longer. So the smaller ones like this, definitely kind of more closer to an hour. Again, I'm gonna, like I mentioned, I'm gonna get a video of this when they're all done, take some good photos and I'll post it in the comments for what's cooking Wednesday. So you guys can kind of see the final process. Uh, I, I do prefer the stuff that doesn't have chicken in it. I'm nothing against chicken, but I just feel like it's a little bit cleaner product sometimes. So that's where I reach when I'm in the grocery store, but buy whatever one you want. If you're cooking for a lot of people, sometimes those cheap chubs of bologna are a really good way to go. You know us, we like to get creative with stuff. We did spam burn ends and things like that with canned meat. So uh, nothing's off limits here in the test kitchen, but that's what we're doing for What's Cooking Wednesday today. So keep posted. We got some pictures and everything coming. Uh, gonna eat this stuff up in an hour. It's gonna make a good little uh, bologna sandwich for lunch or something. So see you guys soon. If you like these videos, please follow us on Hasty Bake. Subscribe on YouTube, like, do all the things you gotta do to kind of keep us front, front and center. Uh, in front of you guys and we're going to keep pumping these things out during grill season it gets real busy around the store so we like to do these lives once we kind of slow down we'll go back to doing our studio stuff but these lives are a lot of fun there's a lot of really good interaction we can get with them and plus i just like seeing your faces and know who is watching zach are you watching from the parking lot i just saw you five minutes ago all right guys we will be back here in a little bit with a final on this hey we're back bologna's done i want you to come take a look at it Woo! That is pretty stuff. Notice the hatch marks the slot dog made on it. These are the ones we did on our own. Got a little piece of fuzz. But uh, this, is, this is absolutely wonderful. I'm looking forward to ripping into it. Pull these off. 
Try to keep them as pretty as possible. Pull one more pan. And Jennifer, if you want to get a close up on those in the light, those are going to be really pretty. So quick recap of what we did here. Took the bologna, we sliced it in half, we made our hatch marks on it, went ahead and seasoned it up, we put some duck fat on it and then seasoned it up with a good seasoning. We used DB 180 beef and steak. Put it on the grill. Now what I did about 10 minutes ago is I came out here and I took a barbecue sauce. This one was the Heath Riles Tangy, Tangy Vinegar Barbecue Sauce. And we just brushed it over the top of them, let that barbecue sauce sit. I don't like stuff to be kind of, you know, moppy, soppy, wet when I eat it. So we wanted to kind of let it bake in a little bit. You saw the sheen and the color of that thing added to it. These are absolutely killer. We're going to slice these up, put them in a pan, serve them with a side of sauce. Uh, they're really hotter. I'd try them right now, but I promise you they're going to be wonderful and we're going to eat good today. So thanks for joining us. We'll get a recipe posted online for you and uh, you guys have a great week.